Help us save her. She's unconscious, but she's alive. She's alive. is fine now. Thank you. Take her home. Thank you. May the God of Allah bless you. Because of Allah! Yes. Thank you! After the gods healed the sick girl yesterday, I had a visitor. Her name is Umwande Uto. I don't understand. Mwadu Uto is one of the decent maidens we have in this land, at least by my judgment. Yeah? What did she come to do in your place? She was very nice to me. Ha! Ah! And at a point, I thought she was the one. But when I remember all my father told me about my wife, I knew she wasn't. I will not fall into your trap. And start discussing women this month with you. No. How do you mean? Oh. So this is what you think about me now. That all I do in this village is talk about maidens and women. Um. I see you are beginning to do greater things than your father. That is what I want to discuss. Not uh, uh, my daughter or any maiden. And ask my daughter, my daughter. Uh, ask the prayer of every father for the child to be greater than him. Yes. Uh -huh. By the way, why did you say that? Uh, I overheard some men discussing about that. They said you are already greater than your father. And by my little understanding of medicine, this your healing power can bring wealth to you. So I want us to plan as friends on how we can start making money from your gift. Oh. What you have just said now is impossible. I am not interested. No, 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 no. You must be interested. Yes. Listen, you can become the richest man in Umuakadiani if you start collecting money from people. Health issues are complicated and People can pay anything demanded of them to see their loved ones live. You are my best friend. Just think about that. Pa, 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 pa. 
Oh, sorry. You'll be all right. My secret as a healer is I never ask people for anything. <coughs> Papa, Papa. <coughs> Papa, please, please. Sorry, sorry. Sorry. I heal them as the gods lead. I allow them to give me anything they like. <coughs> Papa, Papa. <coughs> Papa, please, please. Papa, sorry, sorry. Sorry, Papa. Remember when you take over from me to follow in that path. <coughs> <coughs> Oh, please, please. The gods will provide for you. Ah. Why that strange look? Why those strange and abominable words? I am beginning to see you as one determined to set me against my father. Don't be naive. Why would you see me as an enemy for telling you the truth? I don't need that truth of yours. Quit telling it to me. You think I'm not rich? I am content with what I have. The mantle of healing was given to me freely and the instruction is that I heal freely. Let this be the last time you raise this topic. Because when next you do, I will not only stop talking to you, but I will cut you off. Ha! I am sorry. Hold on. Hey, is my advice an evil one? To have provoked him? Where is he? Where is the good man? The special one? The man of the gods? I'm aware he was here. Where is he? Are you... Are you by any means talking to me? Is it a crime to talk to you? Look, he asked me to do something for him. That's why I'm looking for him. His father told him certain things about the woman he would marry. I mean, not boast of knowing all the things the man said, but I'm certain he was bad from Considering desperate meetings. And you, my daughter, are one of them. And I hate you so much. Desperate maiden? Why would he call me a desperate maiden? has become a bone in my neck. He has destroyed my business with his charitable works, claiming to be a useless healer. He appears to be more powerful than his father. I won't allow that boy to continue to exist. Ekunife, Ekunife, prepare to battle with the spirit of the deep, because I am going to fight you to a standstill. I don't know who you are or what your plans are. Let me remind you. I was a hunter before I became a healer. Who are you and why did you block my route in the way that suggests war? 
Okay, it was sword. I'm the man sent by your great grandfather to bring you the beat that will make you destructible. I'm not here to answer questions. I'm here to deliver a message. So I am the man. Call me the man. We are this. No man with acquire power will ever destroy you. Decides to bless me with a beat. Gods of my father. Gods of my father. The way you left me yesterday was very insulting. I will leave you again. Go inside to attend to more important things if you do not leave what happened yesterday. How can I leave what happened yesterday when my friend has, has refused to say anything tangible to me? What do you want me to say to you now that I have not said already? Right. There was a man of Ibuzo Kingdom named Abodike. He was a great healer just like you. He rose to become known in the whole of Ibuzu Kingdom and even beyond. So why are you telling me about the man from Ibuzu? That same man of Ibuzu Kingdom died and there was no money to buy a cow for his burial. In fact, he died wretched. Zemir, are you saying that I am going to die wretched? Greetings, great men of our land. Greetings, beautiful maiden. Welcome. Thank you. I brought you water. Thank you. Please, um, go to the back of the house. You would find a big pot. Pour it there. I have two visitors in my compound, and surely both of them will leave. I beg to go now. Yeah, thank you very much for the water. Please. Come back in the evening, I will prepare a gift for you. I will come. Go in peace. What is that? <laughs> hey, 
there. Who do you love among these maidens? Well, um, I would allow the gods to choose for me. Eh? <clears throat> when we left yesterday, that one of them came looking for you. Try and make a choice urgently. Because probably the wife you will marry will be the one that will open your eyes. The earlier you stopped talking about my personal life, the better for us. Why this you beat on your neck? I bought it for myself. Do you like it? This one is different from all the beads I've seen. I don't know why you like strange things. Greetings. Is Ekuni Fabi? Ekuni Fe? I don't know. Actually, I went to. Actually, I did not go to Ekuni Fe's house. I, I went to give Ichi Agama some water. Really? Mm. You are going to give Ekuni Fe money water? <laughs> that is very kind of you. Go well. Can't they just leave him alone? I can fetch him as much water as he needs. Why can't they just let him be? And I have been asking myself the same question. Why can't Uzodima leave Ekunife for me? I beg your pardon, Madiuto. Are you lusting after my man? Your man? Ah! <laughs> Do you even know what that means? Listen, let me tell you. Yesterday, I cooked his lunch and we ate together. Have you ever cooked for him before? Why then do you call him your man? Please. Why are you stopping me? Listen, I want to make something very delicious for you. You need to start eating what a woman cooks. And who told you that I have not been eating what a woman cooks? So why are you not eating mine? Look, Uzodima, it's not like I don't trust you. It has to do with me. It has to do with my spirit. Okay, you will surely cook for me, but not today. Why? Because I have not been moved by my spirit yet. When I am moved, I will not only eat your food. I would also eat the one that was cooked in your house. And bring to me here to eat. <laughs> Do you know why I hate you? Tell me. I will tell you. Because you are a pathetic liar. Oh. So you really think I'm lying about this whole thing? No! I don't just think, I know! And you get lost! Because there is no way Ekunife would descend so low to have you, a fool, cook his meal! <laughs> you can go ahead and console yourself that it never happened. But, I want you to know that it did. Yesterday, I cooked a very delicious offense salad with dried meat 
the one he gave to me to use in preparing the soup with a very smooth pounded yam to go with. We ate it together. <laughs> you know why that is so? Because he prefers me, Wadiuto, to you. So get lost and stop throwing yourself at him. Some things in life we just cannot change. Some fuss in life we cannot fight. All we can do is to live our lives. Live your life so I live my life. Live your life. This is the right spot to eliminate the idiot. Come closer and see the earth no more. Argue with your chi and argue your last. What's this account? Why are you looking like one who woke up on the wrong side of his bed? Are you alright? Ekunife. The son of Okun Kanokeni. The best hill I ever produced in the land of Umakadiani. <laughs> Each time I meet with you, it gladdens my heart to realize I am meeting with a replica of Okun Kanokeni. Mm. He practically vomited himself in you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Was he Kanku one? Him. There is magic in my name. I know. And the gods instructed me to bless you. Mm. <laughs> As the gods pleases. <laughs> Blessing me? Have you forgotten who I am? The son of Okunka Anu Anuke? You dare my forefathers? <laughs> God <laughs> of my ancestors. <laughs> Great he love our land. Something just happened and I came back to pray. What are you doing here? Why did you come back? Why did you do it, my love? Who is your love? And why did I do what? You gave her dried meat and she made your lunch of ofensala and pounded yam. Both of you ate together. Why are you killing me slowly, my love? Why? What are you talking about? And look, I would not stand here to discuss this with you. I have a pressing issue. I need to pray. Please. I need to be left alone. Just go. Shana for tiger. Just do what is right. Why? 
heart is right. Oh, oh. I never put you in my car. I never put you no know my car. Oh, spirit of a healer. I the fool that shot Do you mind telling me why you cannot pick a maiden of this kingdom and make your wife? Why? Oh no. There's no doubt you've done well by coming here and discuss this with me. But then, I am not seeing a wife in any of them. Meaning what? Are you aware that immediately after the Obaze festival, a new king will emerge in this land? And from what you know, that festival is around the corner. If the time comes and you have no wife, <laughs> the king makers of this kingdom will select a new king from any of the families of the ruling class. It simply means that you have lost the throne. And what that happens, I will know wicked in Igbo. The Ugo Chalasha of Umolili Kingdom will not be able to stop them. Are you not aware? Someone already brought that to my notice, no. But I believe it's too far. I want you to understand that I cannot get married to a maiden my spirit doesn't accept. The last maiden you brought, she was beautiful, fine, yes, she is. Okay. But then, she doesn't qualify to be my wife. Sorry. Really? I'll tell you something, my prince. You have to look around this kingdom and make a choice. Select any of the maidens that you have small likeness for. Listen, all the qualities a man may be looking for in a woman to make his wife may not be found in just one woman. Is that possible? So what you have to do is to encourage yourself. Settle for one. That one you have small likeness for. Encourage yourself and make her your wife. Start living with her. Soon, you will start overlooking her lapses. Start overlooking her excesses, her stupidity as a woman. And then you will begin to love her. That is how marriage works. And that is what I want you to attempt immediately. Oh, well, very well said. But there, like I told you before, we have beautiful maidens in this kingdom. But I'm not seeing a wife in any of them. When I see that special one, no, I will recognize her. But for now, I'll keep searching. You have proven to me that you are useless. You took your cost self to Ekunife. To discuss what? And what business of yours is it with what I discussed with my man? Well, I asked him and he said he didn't eat any insala soup with you. You were making the healer a liar by what she was saying. And I know he did not say that to you. Hmm? Mm -hmm. I cooked for him mm -hmm. and we ate together. <laughs> All the gods be praised. Every passing day, the gods give me more reasons to believe that you are the most supreme of them all. What are you talking about? Someone here was lying in your name. And just before I could say anything, the gods brought you our way to explain things yourself. <laughs> What lie did you tell with my name? 
Are you going to believe this gold digger without as little as asking me to explain what happened? What do you intend to explain to him? Tell me, what? I told you that I cooked his meal. And I did that because I see him as a man who deserves all the respect. And you lied. You said you confronted him and he denied it. I beg your pardon. Denied what? Are you by that implying that you, you had her cook your lunch? Enough! And let this be the last time you would ever make me a subject of your discussion. I do not owe you anything. I have not promised you anything. I would eat whatever I want. And whenever I want, as the gods lead, let <laughs> this be the last time I would warn you. <laughs> Are you, where did I go wrong, my love? He is not your love. He just made it clear to you that he doesn't love you. Ah! Get out of my sight. Or you will eat me raw, I suppose. Please save the energy. You forgot to ask the most important question. Let me make it clear to you. Not only that he ate what I cooked for him, we ate it as husband and wife. You should have asked him that. He barred me from cooking his meal. And he's finally eating what Mwadiuto cooked. What is going on? My prince, I, I have to be leaving now. But why are you leaving so soon? I am the unknown of this land. And this is your wing. Your chambers where I can always come back. I have to leave you. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, who go chalasha of Umulili kingdom. Always remember that, my prince. Uh, how can I forget the title of a great man of our land? <laughs> <laughs> you are blessed. You are blessed equally, my prince. In fact, you are blessed more, my prince. <laughs> May the gods guide your steps, you know. He said... And may the gods guide your thoughts as well. Thank you very much, you know. Have your seat. Thank you, my friends. Welcome to my humble abode. Thank you, my friends. I feel great sitting before my prince. Thank you for the warm welcome. The owner already told me about you. A lot about you. And I feel happy to be with a beautiful maiden like you. Thank you, my prince. You're welcome. Do you mind standing up again? I don't know who will tell you when next to see me, okay? As it pleases my prince. You may take your leave now. Milima, mm -hmm. you were excited when Ono was sent for you. Mm -hmm. And we learned he took you to the prince. So why are you not happy? It's not that I am not happy. No, I am only concerned about the prince of our land. Really? And why would you be concerned about the prince of Umo in the kingdom? He's already up there with the men of the ruling class deciding the fate of this kingdom. If you ask me, I will say he does not even know you exist. Iroma, this is what I hate about you. Why are you so dumb when it comes to reading other people's emotions? And what is it with the prince's emotions that you've already read to judge others of not doing the same? See, Iwoma, the prince is confused. He is confused as to who to marry. He doesn't even know the kind of woman he wants. 
And that, if you ask me, uh, I would say is a very serious problem that any man could face. <sighs> Milima, my dear friend, let me break it down. There is always a woman for every man. The prince has not made his choice because he has not seen who to marry. When the right woman comes, he will definitely say the right words. Really? Yes. Now, just, just, just look at me. Just look at, just look at all this. What is it that a man could possibly be looking for in a woman that I do not have? What? I think the prince is under a corpse and I expect you to be bothered. Let me end this discussion so you won't have the reason to bring it up again. If you're destined to marry a great man, that man will come from the least expected place. Yes, Prince Arubare Zama is surely a great man, no doubt about that. But he's not the only great man we have in this kingdom. Think about it. Excuse me. Can you please explain what you are trying to say? Can you? Oh no. I believe you heard me right the first time. The maiden you introduced to me is not my type. Oh, she's beautiful, yes, I admit. But she's not just my type. Can you do me this favor? Tell me exactly what you want that maiden. You want to make your wife. The same maiden we have been waiting for. Through all this period. Oh, no. Can you tell me what you want her to look like? So oh, no. we know exactly what you are looking for. Oh, no, I cannot describe the maiden to you. Okay? But I believe she's somewhere there. I mean, when I see her, I'll know her. I will recognize her. Take Kula Nut, good Kula Nut, to the grave of your father. Pray. Ask him to open your eyes. And you are going to discover that the maiden I just brought here is the angel you have been waiting for. Can you do that this afternoon? Oh no, do you care for a drink? Are you okay? No, what is this? No, why are you offering me drink when we are in the middle of a crucial discussion? Am I now considered as one of the drunks of this kingdom? What is this? An insult or what? Uh, uh, no, on the contrary. I do not consider you to be a drunk. I just needed something that would take your mind off this topic. Hmm? I am going to get married for sure. But please, allow me to look for the maid myself. Listen, Adongwa, I am the Onohu of this kingdom and I expect you to respect the position I occupy in this land. With due respect, Onohu, I do not only respect the position you occupy, I respect you as a man that deserves to be respected by all. If that is the case, why then have you refused to follow me to the palace? Why? That is the problem. Oh no. Follow you to the palace and be introduced to Prince Arubalezama. Is there a problem with that? I have lost count of the number of maidens that have been taken to him, yet he is unable to make a choice. I am not ready to be listed amongst those maidens. See, I don't want maybe I have to tell you this. I took my time and made the prince to give me a description of the kind of woman. And he gave a description that fits you perfectly. This is why I, I brought you here. And this is why I'm doing this. Come with me. Let us go and see him. Do this. See this as one of the things you are doing for this kingdom. Please. 
Oh no, I suggest you look for another maiden. Why? There are a lot of maidens in this land and beyond that look like me. Locate any of them the way you have located me and take her to the prince. I don't want there are things I still want to say to you and you are leaving? Arubala is a Maybe the time has come for you to solve your problem yourself. Fail to solve this problem and you will lose the seat of power of this land. When that happens, there will be only one person you will hold responsible. And that one person is you. Just leave. taking them so long. My prince, your shoes. You sent for me, my prince. Yes, I did. I want to personally invite you to the palace. Is there a problem? No, not at all. You see, I want to have a brief discussion with you. And I don't think it was wise making you stand here. I mean, that is why I'm inviting you to the palace, where we can talk in a conducive environment. Are you scared? No. Good. When do you want me to come? Um, later today? Well, maybe tomorrow. Oh, but that's it. You can tell me. What was your schedule like? My friend, it's impossible. Why? Huh? Extreme archival powers are protecting him. And any attempt to harm him we receive the archivist's resistance and it may revert back to the sender. Uh, what do you do to a friend who betrays you? Did you come here to seek for solutions to your problems or ask questions? Both. <laughs> Then, you must be one of the confused young men from your kingdom. I cannot help a confused man. Uh, you may decide to forget all things, but don't forget that I have declared that paid for your services. I, 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 I don't have to be insulted in the process. I'm not insulting you, my friend. I just want you to be specific. What do you want? I took a tough I don't I want you to diversify your metaphysical inquiries. But I want you to look deeper into your administration and tell me what I must do. Him by physically poisoning him. If you are ready for this, I will give you the substance that can do that.
Make sure you comply it to whatsoever he eats or drinks. I'm also aware both of you always eat together. Exactly, I'm a model. <laughs> we are so close to the essence that we always eat together. Eh? How can I poison his food or his drink without eating or drinking the same? You met the right person. That is where this green substance comes in. Before you eat or drink anything you poison, make sure you first finish the whole of this green substance. This one? Yes. You are going to kill your friend. His blood shall be upon your head. But, um, Papa, can't the elders do something about this? Uh, they made inquiries and discovered that the gods left him. Oh. So, um, does it mean that our kingdom will be left without the chief priest? Uh, uh, the elders in council are waiting on the gods to appoint another. They made Osikanku the chief priest. But they discover that it is not the responsibilities of women to appoint chief priest. Papa, the way you are sounding, you are sounding as if it is very complicated. Very complicated, my son. Osisi Kanku was made the chief priest, but he was still committing atrocities. That's why the ghost left him and he became mad. Look at him there. What, is, what are you doing here? You are not saying you should not approach this place. This is my father's compound. <clears throat> This palm wine is something else. <laughs> 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 Which of the maidens are you going to marry? Eh? Why do you ask me this question all the time? Are you not going to marry? <laughs> Which one are you going to marry? Listen, as you am. Ozem is right. Thank you very much. I think the time has come for you to get married. Mm. Right. <laughs> well, I have not seen a wife in any of them. But something keeps directing me to Uzodima. Hmm. That's great. Then make your intentions known to her. And you must do that as soon as possible. Ogadrokwa. Okay. Uh, Ozemina. Ogani. Why are you suddenly quiet? No, why won't I be quiet? Yeah? What exactly do you expect me to say when you have decided to answer my question with a question? Eh? Moreover, uh, 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 what is even special in Uzodima that your eyes should be going for her? Eh? Well, I've not made my intentions known to her yet. 
Because somehow something in me keeps telling me to wait for another. <coughs> Resist that evil spirit that is telling you to wait for another. And marry the one you are beginning to like. There is no perfect wife. Neither is there any perfect husband. Marriage is about compromise and forgiveness. Uh, yes, uh, uh, that is if he directs his intention to another, not to the man. Um, Mazime, to you speak wisdom. I I just wish. Okay. What is it? Mazime! 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 of poison. Who must have poisoned Mazimitu? Of all days on earth, it's only today you decided to come to visit Epunife. Maybe you are actually destined you to die from the portion of animal. Don't worry. He will be fine. But why will anyone want to poison Mazimitu? of my ancestors. <laughs> that which I do not know would not rise to confuse me. This is my compound and I have declared it as a healing ground. Why will someone come here, the same healing ground, to experience an ugly effect of poison? Speak to me, gods of my ancestors. What happened? Ozemena, speak before uh, it is too late. No, 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 please. Yes, uh, I poisoned the drink. Hey! What did you do? I, I, I did it. I, I, I poisoned the drink. I, I, I wanted to kill him. Hey! hey uh, uh, please forgive me. Uh, you call him your friend? Hey! Uh, 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 Ozemena. Uh, 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 I was saying, what have I done to you that you want me dead? It is because of who's on the mouth. Who's on the mouth? Who's on the mouth? 
About this, for I can handle it. A man of uh, Izuago taught me how to handle snake bites, and I learned well. Please, huh? please take me to my father. Take me to my father, please. Please, please, please take me to my father. Ah! Thank you for what you have done today. You would always be my friend till I join my ancestors. Thank you. <laughs> You're fine. Oh, oh, oh. Cause they Cause they mean you once saved my life. Now you want to kill me because of a maiden? A maiden! I vowed to my ancestors that you would always be my friend to the day I joined them on the other side of life. But as I am looking at you, considering what you have done, my heart is heavy. What are you trying to say? This fool almost killed you and nearly made my children fatherless. He does not deserve to live. Allow him to die. I will save him. His nuisance value would be of great importance to his family than his untimely death. How would you feel if I make you the next queen of Omolele Kingdom? Do you know who once introduced my best friend to you? Oh yes, it did. But I don't like her. I saw you and my spirit accepted you. Please, be my wife. And have my best friend think of me as a husband snatcher. Oh, you need not bother about that, okay? Just agree to marry me and I will do everything for you. I can marry you, my prince. But there is a problem. What problem is it again? My father is Ogena Anyamu, the son of the son. And I am the daughter of the moon. I knew your father. 
a strong man of the gods. Oh. May his soul continue to rest with the gods and ancestors. You see. Um, come to think of it, that your name is Ada Huan doesn't necessarily mean you have any connection with the moon. It doesn't mean you are the daughter of the moon. It's just a name and has no connection with the moon. It has a powerful connection. My womb is still with the moon. <laughs> Come on! Why are you talking like a child? Hmm? I mean, who told you these folk tales? It is not a folk tale. My father told me all about it before he died. My womb is with the moon. And I mustn't punish any man that marries me when I know I have no womb. It will sound unbelievable, I know. But it's the truth. A medicine man must be found. He it is that will restore my womb from where the... Only then shall I be able to conceive and bear children for the man that marries me. And until that is done, I'm sorry, my friends, I cannot accept your proposal. Daughter of the moon, I am right here for you. Daughter of the moon, I am the son of the shine. Oblige my request. Please agree that you will marry me. And I promise, I will find a medicine man that will restore your womb. The restoration must first happen, my prince, before I can say yes to you. If you can find a medicine man that will restore my womb, as you have said, then I will say yes to you. For the first time, I feel fulfilled. I feel I will beat the deadline or get married to you before the Obasi festival. Greetings, Olu. Greetings, Iba Adabalenza. Ama, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. Olu, I have come to to ask you some questions. N not again. Does it mean you are not man enough to move around your own kingdom and select a wife for yourself? Why are you here to ask me a question again? Didn't I tell you I'm no longer part of it? I have found one. What? Yes. But this seems to be a problem. You have found one for yourself? Yes. No, you have found a maiden of this kingdom that you want to make your wife. Oh, yes. Good news. That means you have finally confirmed to me that you are really the son of the man I knew. The great lion that came from a lion. <laughs> Sit down. Sit down and tell me what this problem is and let me tell you. Consider it solved already. Oh, thank you, Nuhu. <laughs> thank you very much. Arubaleza, <laughs> Amma. I met Adama. Daughter of Ogene Anyangu. Okay. And she told me something very, very mysterious. 
What did she tell you? That her womb is for the moon. And that she can never conceive unless it is retrieved. I have promised to do something about it, you know. But in the real sense, I'm confused. Is this a fairy tale or reality? I mean, it is not fairy tale. It is real. Sad reality. But how is it possible? I mean, how can the moon withhold someone's womb? Her great grandfather originated from the moon. Once in a while in that family, a man bears a daughter at that point that the moon is full. When that happens, as it was the case with the maiden in question, they will name her Adonwa. And it is believed her womb is with the moon. <laughs> Hello. This sounds like a fairy tale to me. I mean, how can one be sure that a womb is for the moon? Okay, let me tell you something. One Adon one from that family once refused to believe her womb was with the moon. In fact, she refused to submit for the ritual that would liberate her from the problem because she believed she had no problem. She decided to marry without that ritual. In fact, she ran after a man of Abagana calling herself his wife and they both married themselves on the hill of Ugwabe. You know what happened? When the man knew her, both of them ran mad. In fact, they died lunatics because there was no solution. Are you serious? When they call me Ono Wicked in Igbo, it is not just a name. It is real. There is power in Igbo land, and that is why we are who we are. But, oh no, I love Ada. I mean, she is the only one I've fed the urge to have as a wife. I once approached the same Adon one inviting her to come to meet you in the palace so that you can select her as a wife. She refused to come with me. That was the time you, you told me what you were looking for in a woman and she was the one that fitted into that description of yours. I approached her, she said no. So considering the time frame at your disposal, the festival that is coming and the problem we are now having, Surrounding her womb and everything. I am advising you, you forget about her dome and settle for another maiden. And leave her for who? Leave her for the man who has all the time to wait. You have no time. Can't you understand the festival is coming so close? Can anyone listen to the time? No, no. I swear on my life, I will do everything possible to ensure she gets her womb back. The prince is one of the few young men from this land that I respect so much. He knows what he wants and he always goes for it. I feel the same way for him too. That is why I considered his proposal. Mm -mm. Considering his proposal is one thing. Actually allowing him to have a taste of your womanhood is another. Do not try it. Mm. Please, for your own good, do not try it too. <laughs> Someone from our family tried it a long time ago with a man from Abagana and it ended in total disaster. You are very precious to us. Too precious to let you waste away like that. Please. Always remember that. I heard the story about how they ran mad and died as lunatics.
I'm wondering, how long do you think it will take before we see the medicine man that will perform this ritual for me? <laughs> do not always forget the daughter of whom you are, the moon. The moon shines everywhere. And at the appointed time, he will send the man that will perform the ritual. And how long shall we wait for the moon? As long as it takes. Listen, my dear. If your mother were still alive, she would tell you the same things I'm telling you right now. Daughters of the moon do not rush into marriage. They wait for the moon to send the men. The moon has sent the prince. And I insist that you wait for the healing that must come before anything happens. You've been yourself all this while. Do not lose it because the prince is finally interested in you. Please. Please, I... I want to sincerely apologize for the evil act the devil pushed me to... Hey! Don't mention that! Don't mention the devil in this! Why will you bring the devil into this? The devil who was sleeping when you committed that evil act. Tell me your evil mind pushed you into doing it. And I will believe. No, oh, please, sit down. Allow the gods fight their battle. I don't know why you are stopping me from reporting this devil to the elders. Uh, please, uh, Mazi, 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 me too, please. The bad justice with mercy. Don't call my name! Don't call my name in this. I say, madam, you had the guts to poison the drink you brought for us to drink. Hey, you even drank in Dawi so that the poison will not have any effect on you. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, say, madam, I have no grudge against you. For a man who allows his emotion. To trick him into evil deeds is not qualified to be a man. You are not qualified to be a man. Forgive me, please. Mazimeto, please. I want this thing to be between us. I don't want you to report this to nobody. On no condition should this leave this compound. I forgive you. You're forgiving me? <laughs> Thank you. Hi. <laughs> uh, you mean we can still be friends again? I can forgive you because he's a healer. As for me, I am not a healer and I can't forgive you. Uh, Mazinetu, please, I ask and beg you in the name of the gods, forgive him. It depends how love affairs work. You are dying for someone who doesn't care about you. And that same person is forcing herself on someone who doesn't think about her. Why my best friend was the man? I need to endure it. Destiny differs. Love could mean all things to men. But love is wicked to me. I 
I'm the son of the tiger, the son of the sun, daughter of the moon. I am right here for you, daughter of the moon. I am the son of the sun, son of the sun. Seasons will come. It can only mean one thing. She has committed a crime and they are taking her to the palace for questioning. Have you forgotten that we have no king in this land, even as we speak? Nobody has the right to question anybody in the palace for any crime. So where then are they going with her? It could be for the other angle that you are deliberately avoiding. Which is that Adoma has caught the interest of the prince and he wants to make her his wife. <laughs> no, it is not possible. The prince is cursed. And I was told that he is waiting for a goddess to marry. <laughs> and what makes you think that Adoma has not become that goddess he is looking for? Well, let's continue going to where we are going. Whatever it is will be known in due time. Seasons will come, seasons will go, here in my heart, it's where your love is peace, the hours will pass, rain will fall, but here in my heart, is where I'll build you your home. Greetings, my friends. You're welcome. How are you? I am well. Say. God, please excuse us. Please have your seat. I sent for you because I want to have a very, very important discussion with you. Go on, my prince. I'll suggest you rather refer to me as your king. And I'll refer to you as my queen. We are not married yet. I know. As soon as we get married, by the grace of the gods. What is it you want to discuss with me? I need to seek a solution to your womb. My prince, I, I'll advise you look for a decent maiden and marry her. Ada, Ada, you have a problem. And I am in the position to solve it. But that I am in love with you. And I am ready to do anything to have you. I'll send for Judge to the Great Diviner. As it pleases, my friends. And that will be early tomorrow. I hope you make yourself available early enough. Or would you rather spend the night here? No. No, my friends, I I'll be here on time. Um beautiful Chinaza. Um I I I don't want you to see it as if I am sending you away. I enjoyed your company. It's just that it's getting very late. I think you should start leaving. Um, I've made up my mind to spend the night with you. No, no, that's not possible. How could you, how could you say that? Listen, we own our lives. And I want to make you happy tonight. I cannot do anything unless the gods instruct. Okay, 
can see you like Uzodima more than me. Why would you say a thing like that? Look, I have never spent time with Uzodima the way I did with you today. Amen. Don't you have feelings for a woman like a man should? I am not just a man. I am a healer. One who can stand the chance of disconnecting himself from the gods. I will not take that chance. You need to leave now, it is getting dark. I understand you are a healer. But spending the night here doesn't necessarily mean anything will happen. We could stay together and you could still be connected with the cords. Spending the night here doesn't make me wayward. Okay? Resisting the urge to sin follows a pattern. And that pattern is being careful. Leave before I read a different meaning into your visit. It's in the way he works. He can see the way he talks. In whatever you do, remember what your father said. My father warned me. Now be a fool to disobey him. Shine out for a tiger. Just got to be a tiger. Can't be last. Oh. Just when I thought I was close. What else must I do to have him? You. Yes, me. Did you have to wait to be embarrassed? Why did you not leave when you had the chance to leave? What are you talking about? I am talking about your visit to Ekunife's house. And how you were unceremoniously thrown out. Point of correction. I was not thrown out. I left because it was getting dark. Really? Yes. And next time you gather to gossip, know exactly what to say. You know, come back. I used to be like you. Throwing myself at Ekunife, hoping that I will get his attention. At some point, he even allowed me to cook for him. And the most interesting part is that we ate together. I know you're surprised. You may even think that it did not happen. But it did. But then something happened. I had a dream that changed everything. A dream? What dream? Oh, by Julio Godana, please. Uh, don't see it as if we are trying to interrupt what you are doing. But as you know who of this kingdom, I think I have the right to interrupt any spiritual process. Our patience is running thin. What are they saying? Say something, Oh, by Julio Godana. To restore her womb is beyond my powers. The womb be hidden where my inner eyes cannot reach. The person that must restore the womb must first know where it is. I, 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 I think I understand what you are saying. But Considering the amount of money that we are paid for this process, can you tell us what we must do? 
whatever I say will be a lie. You must consult another diviner. Obi Adulu Gonano lacks the power to restore the womb. This is unbelievable. Obi Adulu. Is there nothing you can do? Whatever I do now will amount to nothing. I am a man who has found favor with the gods. I don't want to provoke them with lies. You must seek for another seer. That he can't do it doesn't mean it cannot be done. We will look for another healer. Please cheer up. This problem will be solved. Please cheer up. I have seen different kinds. So you can retain the throne. I do not want you to lose the throne because of me. There is something more superior than the throne itself. And that is my happiness. You are my happiness. And I'm ready to do everything. Everything for you to get back your womb. Where your love is peace, the hours will pass. Greetings, Olo. And I bless them my greetings. How are you? Please sit down. There will be no need for that. My mind is unsettled. What troubles you? Olo. Our inability to solve Adama's problem is devastating to oh, me. Oh, my prince, stop. Is this why you are here? To talk about Adama? Have I not told you to forget about Adama and send up another maiden? She is not the right woman for you. You don't understand. She's not just the right woman for me. But she is the only one for me. Oh, well. I am here to tell you that I have decided to consult Agotarambe. What? Are you serious with what he just said? You want to consult Agotarambe because of this nonsense? What is wrong with you? The money you will spend consulting Agotarambe can marry 20 maidens for a man. Why would you want to spend that kind of money on a dumb one? Because of what? When there are other options? Stop, please. You can't do a thing like that. My late father told you about my happiness. That I have to always enjoy your happiness? Yes, I remember that. But did he tell you that making an impossible decision is part of your happiness? superior under the throne itself and that is my happiness you are my happiness I am ready to lose everything and gain you 
He's very nice to me. Why can't I just have him? Considering his proposal is one thing, actually allowing him to have a taste of your womanhood is another. Do not try it. Mm. Please, for your own good, do not try it too. <laughs> Someone from our family tried it a long time ago with a man from Abagana and it ended in total disaster. You are very precious to us. Too precious to let you waste away like that. Please, always remember that. Greetings. Daughter of the moon. I am the shawn of the shawn. Shawn of the shawn. Greetings. Sorry. The prince asked us to bring these items to you. Oh. I'm sorry I didn't hear you coming. Thank you for bringing these. Are you alright? Uh, I feel like I may be having Iba. Sorry about that. Do we inform the prince? No. I'll be alright. Okay. We'll be leaving now. Please let the prince know that I shall visit the palace when the sun goes down. My name is Oponko. You, you don't know me. You see what you people are doing to me move. in this land. A day will come when you regret this. When no the problem. truth will come, no finally. Problem. You will suffer from this. So be it, Oponko. I am telling you. So be it. Okay. Let your blood be on our heads. Um, please. You must confess or we will set you ablaze. Why are you pulling up Oponko like someone who just killed somebody? Ask them again. Did you hear what he said? Mahila, I was in my hut. I just came back. I wanted to rest. These people came. They knocked. I came out. They didn't even allow me to say a word. They started beating me. Look at my body. They maltreated me like a son of a nobody. Shut up! I should shut up. Shut up! You will experience more beating when the okay. truth must have been known. Remember you are in front of the healer. Um, please. Great men of our land. Speak to me in the language that I would understand. What happened? We have been looking for two of our goods since two days now. We couldn't find them. So we decided to conduct a search. Only for us to find a pot of goat meat soup in the bush near Okonku's house. He hid the pot of pepper soup there because he knew we would search his house. If it was around my house, what would happen? You found a, a pot of goat pepper soup around my house. You tagged me a thief. What for? You're still lying. Shut up, Mahila. With due Shut respect, up. With due respect, let me learn. Mahila will do respect. A pot of good pepper soup can be found anywhere in Umwa Kadiani. Anywhere around the bush in this kingdom. Shut up. Upon I said, shut up. Who doesn't know you in this village as a thief? You stole our goat and used them in making pepper soup. We know this because the pot we found is yours. Is my pot, you are sure? Even your yes. neighbors confirmed it. No we are go. Obonko, did you take their goats? Mahila, let me be open. Let it not look as if I am talking too much. I hate goat meat. This is the truth. From when I was born till now, I have never tested goat meat in my life. Obonko, the smell alone is a very big problem to me. How can I steal a goat I don't eat? Is it possible, Mahila? Very well then. Please. 
Excuse me. You ate goat meat. Oh, you! You are begging me. You don't like goat meat. Oh, you are begging me too. You! Silence! Honor and his brother come forward. Both of you stretch forth your hand to the edge of the sleeves. If you and your brother are falsely accusing our uncle of theft, then you will not be able to tear these leaves. But if the reverse be the case, then you will. Now, pool. <laughs> Step backward. Bonko. Mahila. Step forward. You can hold him, Kaima. Obonko. Mahila. If they are lying against you, let the gods vindicate you. He said, stretch forth your hands to the tip of the sleeves. If you are innocent of this accusation, then this leaves will not tear. But if you're not, then it will tear. Now, pull. What you're asking me to do is a difficult task. Otabike. This simple task is now a difficult task for you. Otabi, I've known you for years. Mm -hmm. I just give you a simple task and it is now a difficult one for you. Otabi, is my name. Of course, I know. Making impossible things possible is what I'm known for. You have to pay. How much are we talking about? Okala Bego, half bag of money. Okay, I'll give you the I want the shame that the people of Umar Kadean give to me, I want it to end today. It is too much on me, I can't bear it anymore. What shame, Obonko? The one that gets me angry is whatever that gets missing in this Umar Kadean. They will call Obonko. Obonko did this. Mm. Obonko did this. I am tired. If they take me to any suit say, anybody that they will find the truth from, let everybody go blind. That is my, that is what I want you to do for me and you must do it. The mo I will give you the, even more than the money. Arrange the money. <laughs> Why are you uneasy, Obongo? Why are there goosebumps on your body? Were you trying to dare the spirits of my father with your cheap charm? Mahila, I am sorry. Otabaike disappointed me. I stole the goods. I sold one off to the women of Wangulu Kingdom and I made a very good pepper soup. Hey, please! You will lay no hands on him. Step back! Yeah, go. Now speak. Oh, Bongo. I am very disappointed in you. 
How could you kill a whole goat and eat it all by yourself? I'm sorry. I'm not the one doing this. There are spirits in me that are doing it. I'm sorry. I will pay for the two goats. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Great Ila of our land, please do not listen to this thief. He has a way of making people feel pity for him. You have done your part by making him confess. We have to take him to the village square now. Come on, 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 Things like this keep coming up every day, but what shall we do? We will continue to render help to people. Hmm. I used to think we had thieves in my land. But from what I have just seen and heard, the thieves in our land are learners. <laughs> How can a man single-handedly kill a goat, skin it, Cook and eat it without his neighbors noticing. And eat alone. The thieves in our land are learners. I, I, I want to know, but please, please. Are we going to wait here all day for you? Can't you do anything? Um, I'll go to Rombe. What are they saying? This is strange and inexplicable. For the very first time in my life, I am seeing a problem that has no visible solution. Um, <clears throat> I go to Rumbe. You, you, you can't say that. I, I mean, this is the maiden I've chosen to become the next queen of this land. There has to be a solution to this problem. Then you will have to locate the man. A woman with a solution. I have no solution to her problem. And you charge the, the kind of amount you charge? Seriously? No, do you know how much you pay to bring you here? And you're saying you have no solution? And because you spent a fortune to bring me here, I must solve what I have no clue as how to solve. Be mindful of your words, or no. Or you do what? No, are you talking to me? Are you talking to me? I mean, well, you're, you're, you're addressing oh, that oh, way, oh, no. but you're not addressing that me. Oh, no. Look at this man. Oh, no. Who is this man? Oh, please, 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 please. Take it easy. It, it is all my fault. You, you warned me, but I wouldn't listen. I go to Rambe. Can't you do something? I mean, anything. Just, just do something, okay? I'm ready to pay you more. There is a man of Omakadiani, a man of the gods, who inherited a powerful mantle of healing from the father. He is the one that will solve this problem. Agotunumbe. Are you sure of what you are saying or are you planning to waste our time further? Go to Makadan. Ask of a popular healer called Ekunife Okunka. He is the one that will solve this problem. Why is there no solution to my problem or why? 
Why? Why did my birth have to be on the dot of the full moon? When you knew, you knew I would never know peace. Both of you, go to Umwakadiani Kingdom and fetch me the healer. Tell him the Prince of Umulili Kingdom is ready to pay whatever amount to get into my kingdom. Go. I am made for you. I am waiting for you. Daughter of the moon. I am right here for you. Get me a gun one. Daughter of the moon. I am the son of the shy. The son of the lion. I am waiting for you. What's the meaning of this? If only you will rise above your stupidity and come with me, then I will take you to him. And he will forgive you. What do you mean by that? Are you going to continue acting like you don't know what I'm talking about? If that is what you're going to do, then I will let you wallow in your stupidity. Why don't you throw it? Greetings. Greetings. The prince wishes to speak with you now. Tell the prince I said he has done enough to demonstrate his love for me, but I, I cannot continue to bring further shame to him. You don't understand. Are you not coming with me? No. I am not. Snatch the bag. She's holding. Who is speaking? What is it? Why? Why, why did you snatch my bag? I'm sorry. But the voice said I should take it away from you. Let's go and see the prince. A voice? What voice? I don't know. But he was very clear. He said I should grab the bag. Hey, it could be the voice of the late king. You never can tell. The late king may have decided to step in from the dead and solve the problem. Let's go see the prince. And when did you start going around the kingdom with a rope in your bag? I'm sorry, my prince. I feel bad for all the embarrassment my problem is, is causing you. Am I complaining? I know you love me, my prince. But sincerely, I feel unworthy of all the sacrifices you're making just to ensure my womb comes back to me. Did I complain to you? Did I? So you wanted to hang yourself? Oh, that would have been worse. Now you have given me enough reason not to let you off my sight until the solution is found. I cannot live here with you, my prince, if that is what you're implying. We're not married. Yet. There are enough rooms in the palace. I 
am sorry. But you stay in here until the solution is found. My mother's sister Mbanugo will kill me if she hears what you're saying. And where can I find her? Why? I need to talk to her. Where can I find her? Greetings. Who are you and what is the reason for this intrusion? We are not intruders. We are here in peace. We are guards from the palace of Umolili Kingdom. I see. No wonder your faces are not familiar. Please, come and sit down. We will be fine standing. I am sorry that does not work for me. You came all the way from Umolili Kingdom, down to Umuakadian Kingdom, down to my house to see me. Tradition demands that I offer you at least Ola, and I cannot do that while you are standing. So please, come and sit down. Thank you. Please, don't bother about the cola. We are here on the instructions of the Prince of Umolili. The woman he wishes to marry has a problem that none of our healers have been able to solve. I see. The solution follows identification. Has the problem been identified? Yes, but it has not been solved. And that is why we are here. Her womb is still with the moon. Many diviners have been consulted, but none have been able to prefer solution to the problem. One of the diviners directed our prince to you, and he asked us to come and bring you. Hmm. It's a very big problem. I need to consult my ancestors before embarking on such a mission. Are you saying you will not come with us to see the prince? Exactly what I am trying to make you to understand. I would have to consult my ancestors, ask for their approval before embarking on such a journey. Go back and tell your prince what I have just said. I am not going to ask you not to do what you have decided. But please, be gone. If she must remain here, do not even attempt to set eyes on a womanhood. I have no such plans. I am keeping her here to protect her from further attempts to harm herself. You said that already and I heard you clearly. I am just trying to explain things so that you do not fall victim. One Adam in our family tried it long ago with a man from Abagana and it did not end well. I do not want you to make the same mistake. No such thing will happen. I have made arrangements for her to be housed in my mother's room. She will be comfortable in the palace. She will definitely become my wife. It's only a matter of time. Man, I need you to accompany me to Umolili Kingdom. Ah, what business do you have in Umolili? The Prince of Umolili invited me to come restore the womb of his wife to be. I don't understand. Restore the womb? How? The maiden is possessed by the spirit of the moon. And as we speak, it has a womb. Ah. That's serious. Eh? How do you want a man of no power like me to accompany you on such a deadly mission? 
No, no, no. What if the spirit leaves her and enters me? It will yeah. not enter you. <laughs> the spirit of the moon is for women and the spirit of the sun for men. Uh, the sun and the moon are like brothers. I can't accompany you to such a dangerous mission. Jose Mena, nothing would happen to you. My spirit wants me to go with somebody and there is no other person in my mind other than you. Come with me. I, I, I will go with you on one condition. Name it. Uh, that you, you give me give me this speed on your neck. This this one. You want this? Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> that you have touched the beats, are you satisfied? You have given me more reason to be scared of you. <coughs> are you coming with me or not? Huh? Is anybody home? Is anybody home? The greatest healer of my time. <laughs> you are welcome. Thank you. What do you want to do? That is my name. <laughs> the masquerade of the night. Come on, it's been down. a while. Greetings. Let me get you cola. Thank you. Oh, please do not worry about cola. Uh, come and sit down. Why are you looking for someone to accompany you to Molele Kingdom? <laughs> Mazime to my good friend. Surely you have become a spirit. You now see what people do in secret. I am impressed. I want someone to accompany me to Molele. Of course. I need someone to go with. I see. But listen, it is your journey to greatness. And it is a journey you must embark on alone. The gods are watching over you. And I am in a position to tell you that. Hmm. Um, Mazmito. Can you please explain this greatness to me? Hmm. I, I see you rising above your mates. The gods will continue to direct your steps. You may go now. They are tired of waiting. You see, this is the problem I have with our people. Give them little power and it gets into their heads. I don't know why you would say him like that. I mean, where is this coming from? I'm talking about the man from uh, uh, Umu Akadiani that was recommended to me. What about him? What does it take a serious healer to come and attend to someone? It's very clear you are becoming very disturbed. Why are you stressing your life over nothing? There is a problem as we speak. And I know I have told you what to do to solve the problem. Why are you not doing it? What did you tell me? Forget about her dumb one. I don't know what is it you said you have seen in her that you have not seen in any other. That thing as far as I'm concerned does not exist. Forget about her dumb one and settle for another. I mean, for a maiden that will give you children. That is what you need. Now. I'm in love with her. <sighs> you don't advise me to get married to who I am not in love with. Then I am going to tell you immediately. 
that when it comes to marriage, I mean, when it comes to procreation, the term love is given a different interpretation entirely. Do you want me to educate you on that? No, I'm not interested in any outrageous interpretation you have for me. I will go out there and look for him myself. Hey, listen to me. At times when you speak like this, I will start to wonder if they have bewitched you. In fact, I am not happy that you have allowed yourself to be bewitched. You are the prince of this kingdom. You are the coming king of this land. There are certain things you must not even dream of. What he just said now is one of them. You want to go look for who? The prince of my land? Why is it so difficult for you to see reasons with me? What is it? I mean, why are you trying to frustrate me by twisting every word that comes out of my mouth? I have not twisted what you said because you have not said anything. What I now know is that you are under a spell. Arabale Zama, and trust me, I am going to resist that spell with everything in me. What you just said gives credence to what I said. But you are deliberately misinterpreting me just to prevent me from healing the one I love and getting married to her. You know, I am so disappointed in you that you are the one doing this. Giving me the impression that you are bewitched for real. I am very disappointed. But let me tell you the truth, Arabale Zama. This will certainly be the last time I will be discussing that dogma with you. Because as far as I'm concerned, that dogma does not exist. What you need is another maiden that will give you children. And you need to locate that maiden and marry her faster than immediately. Or else, hey, let me not say anything. I knew you would take this path, so I came to apologize to you. I did not mean to harm you. I can never do a thing like that. I love you so much that I failed to control my emotions and it became an obsession. Please, forgive me. Stand up. I forgive you. Stand up. I forgive you. Thank you, my love. Please, do not call me that. I am on a mission to Umulili Kingdom to savage a very bad situation that has defied the healers in that land. And I ask for the blessings of everyone in Umuakadiani. I volunteer to go with you. I, I can go with you from here. I'm afraid that would not be necessary. Bear it in mind that I have nothing against you. If the gods want us to be together as much as you desire, then they will make a way for it. But for now, go home. Take care of yourself. I have a journey to make. A good man by every standard. Even after what I did, he still forgave me. Why can't the gods give him to me? Why are you crying? When you already know I can never leave you. I'm crying for myself. Why? You are, my, you are my mother's room already. You have every part of me now. Let's allow the girls to finish what they started. I hate that this is happening to me. Madam, it is not your fault. I am doing everything humanly possible to ensure we retrieve your womb back from the womb. It is a challenge that you have to face squarely with a strong heart. A 
it saddens my heart to hear what people say to you because of my condition. It makes me feel so bad. That's why I wanted to end it. Oh, come on, come on. Don't say that, okay? Come on. Don't cry for me, okay? Put yourself together. You are a strong woman of this land. Learn to embrace any challenges that comforts you. Please. Wipe those tears. I don't want to see you cry again. Thank you. Your heart is kind. Your words are encouraging. I am right here for you. Daughter of the moon. What you are using are magical powers. You don't have the monopoly of it. Here in my land, we have men with excess magical powers. If you don't leave my land, I will expose you to those that will kill you today. My prince, can I say something? Shut yes. up! It is either you leave my land in peace, I will give you to the men that will kill you today. Not so fast, my brain. If you dare maltreat the great healer of Umuakadene, the gods will get angry with you. I advise you learn to live with your fate on time. Adonwa belongs to him. Make inquiries and the gods will open your inner eyes to see beyond the surface. You! You! You all are sick in the head! I won't tolerate this. I'm here. the idea of revenge you came to me with a proposal and i was decent enough to have given you an urgent response so why are you thinking of revenging on me you are a fool to expect an answer from me eh? you will pay for this poor judgment I bet it. No, no, can, can we bet it oh. Oh. And now that you're no more, that you want to cover the period you wasted, why are you always here? 
I am me. I have to live the kind of life I like. You may not understand. I don't want to live like anyone. Spirit of Ahila. Your daughter, she behaves like an adult. Yes, she is smart. I don't want to tell you that it is like father, like daughter. <laughs> We've always been smart. <laughs> yes, let me ask you, what about your family? I'm an only child. And my parents are late. How then did you become a healer? My great-grandfather was a healer. And he passed the mantle of healing to my grandfather. My grandfather to my father. And my father to me. I see. Why is it that you don't collect money from the people you hear? <laughs> if I ever do that, then the spirit of healing will leave me. Mm. Okay. Let us assume that the prince refuses to let go. What are you going to do concerning Adam? Adoma is my wife. And I must return to Makadiani with her. The gods would make it work. How they would do it, I do not know. Aguma. Yes. I think I may be having feelings for that healer. How well do you know him? A man who possesses magical powers. He's full of evil. Don't let him hypnotize you. The prince is the right man for you. A man with dignity and royalty. I know all that. But you see, Something inexplicable always happened to me whenever I set eyes on that healer. Maybe he is using his evil powers to attract you to himself. You know, men can be very deceitful. You hate him. It's clear you hate him. Not just him. I hate men who try to harvest where they did not sow. Men can be very deceitful. Very well then. I can stand here and continue to read meaning into a simple matter. We can change the what would I do to convince her to marry the prince? What would I do? This madness has to stop. And how do you want it to stop? By paying Ada's bite price immediately. Now that our womb is back. Listen, Arubaleza Ama. The words from that healer, from Uma Kadiana, is still very fresh in my memory. I am insisting that before you go any further with Adoma, as things are now, that you must make inquiry. Not just from one seer, but from several seers. You know, but you know what's at stake? The Obaze festival is around the corner. Yes, I know. And if you fail to have a wife before the end of the deadline, you will lose the throne of Uma Kadiani. I know. But as it is now, 
it has gone beyond what you want as a man. The gods of different kingdoms are now involved. And I am insisting you forget about what you want, what you like as a man, and consider this angle of the gods. Angle of the gods? Now, by the way, which gods are you talking about? The same gods that you know. Why are you pretending as if you don't know what I am talking about? A tree cannot make a forest. And a snake, seen by just one man, can be interpreted to be python. Make inquiries. And I'm insisting that you make wide inquiries on this issue before you make a deadly mistake. It is said that when a child is crying and pointing towards a particular direction, if his mother is not there, then his father is. It has been days since my friend Ekunifo Kunka embarked on a journey to Molili Kingdom and he is yet to return. I call upon you, protective spirit of my fathers, to go and pay him a visit. Direct him, protect him, save him from the hands of the enemy. May he return victorious. May he be victorious. May he be victorious. I still have a reason to believe that you are a god visiting our land in the form of a human. And why are you saying this again? <clears throat> you do practically almost everything in an unbelievable manner. Only deity can do the things you do. <laughs> because I killed this. No. I was a great hunter before my father handed the family mantle of healing to me. Honestly, I bless the gods for meeting a great man like you. We are all unique in our ways. I need to see our don one now. I, I, I will advise, forget about Adonwa, because there are so many good maidens in this land that will be willing to marry a great man like you. Yes. Maidens flock around me, Numaka Diani. But Adonwa has a vital role to play in my life. Please, lead me to our house. Well, if you insist, I promise I will lead you to our house, but not now. Daughter of the moon, daughter of the moon, I am right here for you. Arabalezama, did you make the inquiry as I instructed from several seers? Yes. Good. What did they say? that I am free to marry her and that the healer is an insincere monster who uses his magical powers to take advantage of people. Oh no, I thought as much. I doubt. I doubt you. I saw greatness and gentility in that healer from Omakadian. Yeah, but who am I to sustain my doubt if what you just said came from the seers you consulted? Well, I, 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 we have no option now than to proceed to pay her bright price. When are we going? Oh no! <laughs> oh no! 
Thank you very much. I must thank you for your measurable support and advice. Come to me. I am that humble, hard-working gentleman that will give you all your heart desires. I rule my world. And I have everything it takes to make you happy. I will give you everything you desire. And everyone must adore you. Come to me. What is the meaning of this? I am your destined man. Come to me. He is a cheat. Full of lies. I am that respected man of your kingdom. Come to me. To any of them and choose wisely. This is the land that determines a destiny. Go now. Daughter of the moon, I am the shine of the sun, shine of the sun. Seasons will come, seasons will go. Here in my heart is where your love is be. The hours will pass, rain will fall. But well, here in my heart is where I'll build you your home. Daughter of the moon, huh. I am right here for you. <laughs> it was only a dream. A dream with a deep meaning. to do with this type of dream. I'm not here to listen to your stupid dreams. Your face already indicates you want to talk to me about that healer. The prince is coming tomorrow to pay your bride price. You're right. My dream is actually about the healer and the prince. Save the dreams for yourself. I am not a dream interpreter. Welcome, my prince. Thank you. Should I get you a chair? No, don't worry. I will be leaving shortly. Why is your face not bright? I had a bad dream last night. Don't mind her, my queen. She's fine. Uh, anyway, I came to know if you have notified your trusted friends. Yeah, we've already done that, my prince. Good. Here. Take this. Buy whatever your heart desires. We already have all that we need. I think I don't... <clears throat> My prince, don't mind her. I will make sure we get everything in place. Oh, thank you very much, Agoma. You're welcome, my prince. Thank you. I don't like your mood.
I'll be fine. I have to go now. I still have a lot to achieve before the sunset. Should I see you off my prince? No, don't bother. I want to walk like a warrior. What kind of attitude did you display in front of the prince? Since when did you become my spokesperson? Should I have allowed you to talk rubbish? And who told you she wanted to say rubbish? What kind of an intruder are you? Who are you? I am Ekunife Okunka. I regard the healer of Umakadiani. And so what? Is that how men in Umakadiani behave? Uma. Please don't mind my friend. You're welcome. Thank you. Let me offer you color. It's so strange how you've tied my friend with your evil power. But let me tell you, you will never succeed. It's obvious you lack manners. But I will teach you some. Where is my friend? She left in annoyance. Is a woman not friendly with my visitors? Do not worry yourself about her. And I am not your visitor. I am that husband you have not seen in a long time. Well, I respect you a lot. I have seen seen you command a lot of powers but I will disappoint you by telling you that the prince is coming to pay my bride price tomorrow it is not a problem let the gods fight their battle did you hear her well loud and clear the prince is beating the drums of war you, you speak in parables don't worry. I will not be far away from you, you know why? You are my wife, and it is my duty to keep an eye on you. There is a reason your father gave you that maiden. She is going to make you greater than all the healers in your family and then pave way for your son to be greater than you. No matter the resistance, do not allow any man to marry your wife. I know who you are. You are one of the messengers my grandfather will not stop sending to me. And that is because the gods and the ancestors of Umu Akadiani have found favor with you. They shall send for you as soon as the invisible hand 
has administered the slap of termination. Capitalize on it and then take your wife. I shall see you when you return. great day in our family that our daughter Adonwa after a rigorous process which you sponsored from the start to finish will be married to you. Uh, I will bring her out in a short while for our father here to hand her over to you. I want to thank you I want to thank you specifically for all that you have done for our daughter. Thank you. You 
asking me. You are actually asking me. I want him to make broader inquiries from several seers and be sure that the move had the blessing of the gods. He lied to me. He lied to me that he did. Now the gods have scattered everything. But, um, but Ono, are you directly confirming that the gods of this land were actually the ones slapping the prince? It may not just be the gods of this land. I have a reason to believe that even the gods of Uma Kandiani are equally involved in this. But how? What business does my sister have with Uma Kandiani? Could it be you and other members of your family settle down to ask Adonwa some cardinal questions? It is possible you may have discovered that she prefers the healer from Uma Kandiani to the prince of our land. But there was no time to ask such a question because all of you were in a hurry to give her out to the prince. Now everything has turned out this way. I don't want to be involved. That's why I came back here. Go back to your family and do what is right. Welcome, old one. Your welcome is not necessary. It sounds like a broken drum. Why? And who are you? Men, who are men? never easily forget the instructions of their father. For you to have forgotten everything your father told you about this time shows me you are not a real man. Old one, maybe you should have a seat so we can talk better. I cannot sit in the house of a man who has no respect for the traditions of the old. I hope you know whose house you're in. Mm. Or did your little boy mislead you to the wrong place? Arobanez Amo, I know your voice. And it's you that I've come to see. Why are you here? I'll never say a word until the healer comes. And if he's not here before the sun goes down, doom. I wish you. God, my prince. My prince. Go to Wabukunye's house and fetch a healer. Tell him a certain blind man wants to see him. Yes, my prince. I don't understand you at all. You made me believe that your future depends on your marriage with that maiden. And I come to believe you because you told me that your father specifically gave her to you. And today, she is about to get married to the prince. An event that could shatter your dream of having her as a wife. And you are sitting down here doing nothing. I had a dream last night. My ancestors revealed to me that they have completely taken care of this process. How, how is it possible? How is it possible, Ekunife? Somebody already told me that she saw the Ugene Anuka preparing for a wedding. And we are supposed to be there stopping it instead of being here, sitting and talking. Greetings. Greetings. What do you want here? We come in peace. The prince 
wants to see the healer at once. And what does he want to see me for? A blind man came to him and insists he sees you before he says a word to the prince. And what connects us with that? I mean, what concerns us with that? You should be busy at Adonwa's compound, preparing to marry another man's wife. We actually went there now, but something happened. I am certain that is why the tough-talking blind man came. Yes. Nine. I demand to know everything that happened. We implore you, let him come with us. Nine. Are you going to answer that useless call? Are you coming with me or would you rather I change my mind? It's in the way he works. He can see the way he talks. Who is this man? Why is he different from all the men I have seen in my life? What sort of a man are you? Does it mean you cannot sit down? Men of nowadays are no longer strong. I'm used to standing. I can stand the whole day. It will be nice if you introduce yourself to me. I can hear footsteps. Whose footsteps? I can sense the presence of the healer. Spirit of a healer. Welcome, the great healer. I can now sit. Hold on. First things first. You are blind, and your blindness is connected to the throne of this land. Listen to me, both of you. I don't know the games you are trying to play. I don't know this blind man, and his blindness is not connected to the throne of my father. Keep quiet. Don't say what you don't know. My blindness has everything to do with the throne. I was the personal bodyguard to the king before he died. You were not born then, so shut up. I will forever respect the gods, for they are wise. I can see. I can see everybody. I you can, can see. see. Yes. <laughs> I can see. Thank you. I can see everyone. You can see me? Yes. Are you not the hot tempered prince? The healer will heal you of your bad temperament today. You already said you knew my father before I was born. Tell me, what is going on here? Yes. When I heard what is going on between you and the healer, I knew it's time to revisit history. I am the happiest man on earth. 
What you have just done is what so many messy men I spent a lot of money to invite. Could not do. You restored my sight when I needed it most. But words have failed me on how to appreciate and praise you. I have carved out a large portion of land. Four cows, palm plantation, and four virgins to tell you thank you, Okuka and Ogeni. Thank you, Your Majesty. Ezembuze of Umolili Kingdom. What you have done shows you are a kind-hearted man, but I don't need them. I, I don't understand. Does it mean you did not hear everything I said? Oh, Your Majesty, I heard every word you uttered. Your Majesty, a time will come when your son shall rise to desire what my son needs to become greater than me. I want you to remind him of what I did today. So when that time will come, he will allow my son to take what is his. The earth bear me witness that I granted this request from the deepest part of my heart. Your son and my son shall not for any reason drag anything. And if peradventure it happens, someone from here must be available to remind them of this vow. So shall it be. My prince. Yes. Think. Think deeply. Remember the final words your father told you? I want you to save this discussion in that part of your memory where you store important records. His name is uh, Okunka Anokai of Umuakadiane. He restored my sight when I went blind. I offered him half of the kingdom, but he refused. If at any time you come across his son in future, do not drag anything with him. This family is forever indebted to them. Avoji, Father, I promise to keep all you just told me alive in my memory. Thank you, my son. I see you are not an ordinary man. It will take me time to get healed of this emotional trauma. She is the best indeed. But I cannot ignore the sayings of my father. Marry her. On this note, I will bless you. Your reign as king in Umulili will be the best in the history of your kingdom. I'll lose the throne of Umulili Kingdom as the next king if I don't get married before the end of tomorrow. 
the Obaze festival starts the day after tomorrow. You will not lose the throne, my prince. Some fuss in life we cannot fight. All we can do is to live our lives. Live your life so I live my life. Aboma here is your destined wife. You must do all that is required to make her your wife before the sun goes down. The God of Thunder just confirmed it. I'm sorry I kept you waiting. You owe me no apology. The gods were only ahead of us. Agboma, with the wisdom of men. So it is you. The gods have kept for me all those while. I've always adored you as the great king of Umulu kingdom. Ours is the marriage of the gods. Yeah. <laughs> 